Chewie, it's hot in here. On today's episode, we're gonna be discussing heat energy. What is heat energy? Heat energy is a form of energy that is transferred by a difference in temperature. Heat energy flows from a warmer object to a cooler object. There are three methods in which heat energy can be produced. They are conduction, convection, and radiation. First, let's talk about conduction. Conduction is the movement of heat energy from one molecule to the next. This metal rod here is a conductor. A conductor is a material through which heat travels easily. And thank goodness there's a glove here. That is an insulator. It is a material that does not conduct heat well, and it actually prevents the hand from being burnt. Insulators are used in the walls and ceilings of homes to keep heat out in the summer and keep heat inside in the winter. Some good insulators are glass, wood, sand, soil, styrofoam, and air. Most metals, such as copper, silver, gold, aluminum, and tin, are excellent conductors. Convection is a flow of energy that occurs when a warm liquid or gas rises. The soup in this pot is a great example of convection. Heat is conducted from the hot burner to the pot, and then to the soup at the very bottom of the pot. Then convection heats the rest of the soup. The warm water rises and the cooler water sinks. This is convection. This cup of coffee here was heated using convection. Radiation is the movement of energy through a vacuum. Let's think about the sun. The sun is a long distance from Earth, approximately 150 million kilometers. Yet the sun heats Earth. How does the sun's energy travel the long distance from its surface to Earth? Well, the energy must travel through a vacuum, and that vacuum is space. Heat from sources other than the sun can also travel by radiation. You can see this example right here. We all know that fires are hot, but the heat from the fire can fill this entire room. Many of us in the wintertime can be thankful for radiation as fires project heat and keep our houses warm in the coldest of the coldest winters. Oh, see this poor guy? He seems to be suffering from a high temperature. Did you know that humans have a body temperature of 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit? What is temperature? Temperature is a measure of how fast an object's particles are moving. The faster an object's particles move, the higher its temperature is. Hmm, how is temperature measured? Temperature is measured by using a thermometer. A thermometer is a device that measures temperature. If you look at these thermometers here, the more liquid that is within a thermometer, the higher the temperature is. Thermometers typically use mercury, which is a metal, or alcohol both of which expand when heated and contract when cooled. What is the difference between Fahrenheit and Celsius? Well, Celsius and Fahrenheit are two different scales that are both used to measure temperature. People in the United States typically use the Fahrenheit scale to measure temperature. There are some specific temperatures that you should probably memorize when dealing with the Fahrenheit scale. At 32 degrees Fahrenheit, water freezes, and at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, water boils. And try to remember that the human temperature on average is about 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest boards. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.